All right, everybody, it is me, Sam Root, again. I have my little helper, W-I-T-T. -T. He is our three-year-old. He's watching um, a kid's video on my phone so that I could hop on and give you guys his promise chapter two book review of Your Pocket Life Coach. So those of you um, that are new to this video, I have posted some with regards to my... Um, my true opinion of this $8 book that I found at Barnes and Noble. And I did a chapter one book review already, and so here we are with chapter two. Um, the name of the chapter is called Creative Vibrant Vision and Genuine Goals. I've re I really liked this one. I tabbed things specifically, so I went through right now just a tab. I have a, like a quirky system that I do when it comes to books that I'm reading. If there's something that I wanna go back and revisit, I have this like, I don't know, uh, compulsive behavior maybe. I don't like folding sheets, like the corners of them. So the only time I know that if I have cornered one is because this thing, you better stop and you better make copies and never forget this book and put it in a place that you won't. So like one of the chapters, there was something so important that I did that. But other than that, you'll notice like on my books, I will kind of color right there. Some of them will also have um, where I color the bottom corners and the bottom corners mean that there is a question that I need to go back and ask myself. So top corner is, hey, this was really good stuff. Bottom corner colored is, uh, I need to go back and, and review that. So with that said, these books, one thing I love about this, uh, this book itself, how they've written it out. So they do transformation quizzes right here. So each little square you'll notice and they, the options they give you are yes, sometimes, or no. The one that I'll read out to you that really stood out to me on chapter two was I have a clear vision of the life and work I want to create. I under, like I marked underneath that clear vision. I know where I want to go with my business. I know where I want to go with my life. At least I think I do, but a clear vision I answered no, I don't, I don't, and I don't, I would not have, not I don't know, I'm certain I would not have really looked at it for what it was had that question not been asked that way. Um, there's one question, for example, I'm aware of the thoughts, beliefs, or their obstacles that are blocking me from achieving my goals and I'm taking action to deal with them. Option is yes, sometimes, or no. Yeah, I think you guys get it. I'm like so over analytical, I, I ain't got no problem with that. So then you give yourself your grade, at the beginning of the book, they're gonna give you a little area that tells you that if you score between certain areas, what does that mean? It helps you so that every chapter you see where you're at um, from an improvement perspective so that you can adjust your sales and really, it helps learn week over week. This book is a great one that, you know, I don't see once you get it done, it's probably gonna be ongoing tools that you learn and questions that you wanna ask, but maybe you wanna, you know, take this out every six months or once a year and review kind of where are you at? Did, has anything changed, digressed, progressed, etc. So the other thing that I really liked about this book um, on chapter two, it gives you some 10 minutes um, kind of mini coaching. You guys can see, I mean, I, I write in this book, I, I really have taken it to heart. Um, one thing I love is, the each chapter you guys is so intentional it is like so intentional i'm gonna pull this thing up a little bit because my face keeps getting cut off but it's how they ask it the order in which they ask it please follow through don't pretend you know it all at least in this book if the second that you shut the book like you close it you want to pretend like you're back to knowing it all great but you will not get what you need to get if you're not so brutally honest with yourself on this one, my personal two cents, probably being comfortable clothes when you're reading it, be in a still space, uh, don't plan on reading it, just quick and on the go. Be comfy, I say be in comfortable clothes because that way you can really dig in, carry your utensils that you're gonna need to write with, right? Tabs, I carry my tabs everywhere because I'm a tab girl. But the question on chapter two that really stuck out to me was, you know, it talks about creating your theme and creating a vision. I love that this chapter gave permission to be bold without guilt, if that makes sense. So I've been, I've been, I've had kids pregnant since I was 16. I'm 37, I'll be 38 in a couple weeks. And um, 
I have five kids, the oldest 20, the youngest three. So I haven't really ever given myself permission to buy the really nice things. I can want them in my head all day long, right? When a nice car drives by, I can like, oh my God, I wish I had that car. But this year, and this book really helped me say, you know what? If you're working really hard and you're not going to be sacrificing your family and your true priorities, start grasping the fact that that really nice vehicle you want by the time you're 40, put it on that vision board, it's allowed. So one of the questions, like it starts asking through the questions, but it did break it down to my theme is, and it was really powerful for me because what I put on there was exemplifying life the way I need. And that was powerful to me, exemplifying. Like, I don't know, the way I need, not the way anyone else needs, the way I need it, you know, the way I'm going to define it. So that was really powerful. Um, another area that I really loved about this book, and actually, while I was getting ready to do the chapter summary, I went on ahead and did the highlight on the bottom of the corner. I didn't do that the first go round because I really want to dissect this. I really want to get back into point blank writing out what this is going to look like for me. And I'm probably going to need to tape it on the wall in my home office. Identify the pain of not achieving each goal. So it's about talking on a level. Okay, you don't hit a goal. How are you going to feel pain? Are you, is it going to be truly a consequence or is it not going to be a consequence? Because that's going to determine if it's a big deal or not, right? The other area in chapter two that I really liked, they break things down, you guys. Simple stupid, in my opinion, and I need simple stupid. So develop a three-step action plan for each goal. Wait, and don't show everybody your food. Sit down. All right, turn off your phone. Mama, turn off the phone. So this right here. I left one of my professional goals blank. It allows us to fit three personal goals and three professional. I realized through this exercise, I really, if I could just do these two, you guys, it'd, it'd be on fleek or whatever the kids say. So personal goals. So I was able to do that. The space is limited, which is really nice because I think it's almost as if the, the coach and author that wrote this knew we needed small space or else you chase white rabbits. Not there. Yeah, baby. So with that said, that is my chapter two review. I would love your comments. So if you get this book, I was sharing, you can get the Audible version uh, or like the Kindle version through Amazon. I really just don't think that that is going to get you all you need out of this book. This is, in my opinion, of course, get the physical copy right all over it. I found it at Barnes & Noble. It's $8. So our Barnes & Nobles out here does have physical copies and then uh, online you can buy it too. So I will uh, make sure to add the link again. I don't make anything off this book, you guys. It just was such a great book. This was a definite, this is a 2020 must read slash do book, but I'm definitely keeping it on my 2021, 2022. This is going to be a book that I will continuously go back to at least once a year. So with that said, thank you for following. Thank you for um, being a book nerd like me. If you're watching this because you want to know what the book has. And as always, feel free to share our YouTube channel. Thank you for becoming a YouTube friend with me. My audience has been growing and I never would have thought I was doing this more as just randomly putting my opinion out there, not thinking anybody would care. So with that said, I see you. I love you. If you need anything, prayer, encouragement, kick in the ass, you just let me know. You can find me all over social media as well. Whitten, can you say bye to everybody? Say goodbye. Say so we're going to go play my game on my phone now. He's shy. All right. Bye, guys.